I'd also like to give a big thank you to yourselves for coming here today because despite the fact that you've got the, looks like the photographers, the venue, the dress maker, the kilt makers, they'll provide the things for our wedding, but it's the guests that actually make our wedding. And I'm really happy, proud, chuffed, whatever you want to say, that the guests are here today are the ones that we wanted here because we're so close, because we love you, because he's means so much to us. And I really appreciate he's all taking your time out to come here today. Today I had one job, get him here on time. And although the fire engine broke down twice, it was kind of fitting that we were almost going to be late on Crookie's wedding day. Now the story for me and Emma kind of goes back to 2012, 2011, Christmas time. Walked up there and she was sitting looking at her phone as usual. And she looked up, I just seen this gorgeous, beautiful face staring back at me. Dark brown hair, dark brown eyes. And her whole face sort of kind of lit up. And it was then that I knew that Lighty came on Deja Vu and it was chucking out time. Hi, Mark Allen. Take you, Emma Lynn. Take you, Emma Lynn. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Emma Lynn. Take you, Mark Allen. Take you, Mark Allen. To be my husband. To be my husband. You have pledged that you will live together in Christian marriage. In the words of your promises and in the symbolism of the joining of hands and giving of rings. I saw you come up the aisle today, I, I've got to admit I did actually well up. I've been saying the whole last week, two weeks, I wasn't going to cry, I'm not a crier. But I might just say I just started welling up and my lips started to just start going. And when she got up to the altar, she started whipping and you wanted to cry as well. I for one couldn't be happier than Crook and Emma have found real love and happiness in each other and wish them many wonderful loving years together. Please be upstanding and raise your glasses to the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Crookshank.